Good morning. I'm going to show you uh, how to do the finger knitting. I've had many requests for this um, demonstration to be a video on my website. So today we're going to learn finger knitting. The first thing we're going to do is start with either butterfly yarn, which looks like this. It has a single strand through the middle and then these little tufts, the little wings stick out past this is why it's called butterfly yarn. Now the other kind of yarn you can use is ladder yarn which is exactly like this except for it has two strands that run on either side of the little wings. So now the first step is you're going to take your yarn and the little tail is going to go between your thumb and your forefinger just like this and you're going to weave. Weave the yarn through your fingers. So I'm going to turn my hand around so you can see through your fingers just like this like we all did when we were little kids. You know we always were weaving things through our fingers. Okay now you'll notice you have two strands on top of each finger. Now all we're going to do is move the bottom strand over the top strand and off of your finger. So the bottom over the top and off your finger and every one and the bottom over the top. Okay, now that we've done that, make sure that these stay down on your finger or they'll be wanting to slip off. Just weave this yarn back and forth through your fingers again and again from bottom over the top you're going to remove the threads off your fingers. Bottom over the top every time. Okay, back to single one. Now you'll notice, see how it's kind of messy under here? And your tail is hanging here. You're going to just start pulling your tail a little bit. Okay, and now you're going to weave again over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Again, back to the two strands on every finger. And you're going to remove the bottom strand over the top strand. Give your tail a little pull. Okay. Now you're just going to keep doing this until you get the length of the chain that you want. Now the necklace consists of three or four chains. So you're going to repeat this step three or four times so that you get the number of chains that you desire. And then you'll put three or four chains together to form a layered necklace. Very fast, very easy, um, but very pretty all in the same sense. And it doesn't take a very long time and you don't need any tools, which is great. Great project for in the car, great project to teach you know, young people. So as you're growing your, your chain here, you can keep in mind that you have the freedom to add beads anytime you want. You just remove one of the strands from your finger, fold it in half, slide your bead on, and then replace it onto your finger and continue weaving. Now when you continue weaving, that's what's going to keep your bead in place is, is the weaving. It'll keep your bead from falling off. So you just continue you know, with your weaving your thread in and out through your fingers and removing the bottom one over the top one. And every couple rounds, pull the tail. Okay, now when you get to the length that you desire, um, I would suggest, oh, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches. Um, and then make each consecutive strand a little bit longer so you get that nice layered look. So now once you do that and continue pulling, now to get this off your finger when you're at the end and you've finished all the many rows that you want to do, you're just going to move the, the strand that's over your index finger, over your middle finger, and pull the bottom over the top. Then the one from your ring middle finger to your ring finger, pull the bottom over the top. And then from your ring finger over the pinky finger and pull the bottom over the top, which leaves you this one strand on your pinky finger. 
Now, all you have to do is pull that strand and it's going to give you a loop like this. Okay, once you've got that loop, it makes it into a tight knot so you can't pull it out. You can go ahead and cut the loop and just remove that, disregard that piece there. And you will still be connected to the ball of yarn so you can make the last little bit here as long or short as you want to. Now I suggest you leave it rather long because it's a lot easier to make things shorter than it is to make things longer. Now we have this chain finished. Now is when you would put um, another chain with it, line them up here, and I would suggest that you maybe make a little knot right here at the end. Nothing fancy. Uh, you can also use a bead here if you want to. Pull all your little tails through. And then at the other end as well. Now this only has two strands because that's what I've gotten done here this morning. But whatever you like, it's personal preference. Okay, see how I have two strands? I've tied them together. And now I'll come up here and make a knot and remove these excess tails here. And now you have a necklace. All right, thank you.